Just kidding, I'm playing some 8 bits. Hello, everyone, and sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Charkstar64Gamer, and to play today, we are playing Mega Man. And you guys probably don't know that because you guys are probably young gamers of this era. Well, Mega Man is pretty much one of the hardest NES games in the library. And look, there's also a save point thing, but I'm not going to use that actually because it's basically cheating and I don't like it. It's kind of easy enough already. I played this enough and this is also charging, so I got it keep it like this and actually people are saying say cutman is the easiest but um like cutman but i think it's bomb man so let's just go to his stage first and the first thing you might notice about bomb man is that he has a mohawk i also have no idea what these are but i feel like they're upside down bombs really these are supposed to be some kind of jellyfish thing. I have no idea what these blue orbs are for, so if anyone could look that up for me, that'd be actually pretty cool. Also, if you want to not get hit by those annoying bombs, just stand in the middle. Stupid jellyfish. I swear they remind me of bloopers. Okay. I feel like these are kind of like related to coins in Mario, but they're actually not, which is surprising, and it doesn't make your score go higher. It's also different colored dots things. These things are health for you. They increase your health. It's Mega Man is not kind of your average platformer. You got a gun, and you there's actually different kind of enemies. You can't stomp on them like in Mario. You gotta use your blaster. Your mega blaster. Alright. There should be a save point up ahead. And there's also these bonds I built build things. Also, if you shoot these, they will explode, so be careful. Probably gonna die here soon. Yep, died. Get ready, guys, because this is gonna be a long one. Checkpoints are along. They're a long path away from here. Let's just say that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright. And in the middle. Crap. Oh my god, no, no, no. Alright, just run, just run. Alright. Alright, they also made another version of this on PlayStation, it's called Mega Man Powered Up. I kind of don't like it, but it's kind of interesting for a PlayStation 3, but it's kind of weird, I don't like it. Shoot when this guy is trying to attack you, or jumping. I think it's Sniper Joe. That's what his name is. See, they explode. No. Okay. Should be close here. Alright. Alright, we're almost good here with bomb and stage. These things are also hazardous. To make them go away, just go to the far part of the screen and they'll disappear. Be 
Do not touch the spikes in this game either. That is an instant death. Which I just did. Enemies can also drop other items like health. But, I'm not doing too good either. I'm trying to get that. And there's our first game over screen. Trust me, Bomb Man is the easiest boss. Cut Man, I'd say he's second. Um, Guts Man, third. Others, you just need their weakness. Just don't fight him, like Ice Man. Okay. I'm actually a lot better on at this, but I'm just not trying too hard. Alright. They should drop items, I believe. I'm not kidding. They should. Okay, just run, just run, just run. Alright. Alright. This part always messes me up. I always get shot into the pit, so try and be careful of that when you're playing this level. Or get exploded into the pit. Alright, I think I'm doing a lot better. I didn't lose any lives yet. But I keep exploding. Enemies will also respawn. Do not try and go back if it's that bad. Alright, we're almost at Bomb Man stage. And I died. Alright. I'm gonna try and actually go up on this part this time. Well, there we go. Alright. Last try. Pretty sure that will mess me up again. Get away, get away. You cannot shoot these bombs, by the way. You have to avoid them. Oh my god. I swear. Oh my god. Might actually beat it this time. I think I might actually beat it. Alright, keep going. Told you, enemies drop items, so always be careful. You want to get these things because they give you more health. The little ones, they only give you like two bars. Alright. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Okay, hopefully I don't lose this time. I think I'm gonna do it. I might actually do it. Alright, finally. Alright. Okay, I'm getting that one up. Uh, so items also reappear. So if you're, if you have the magnet theme and you can, and you're a good jumper, I'd suggest you go to Electman stage first to get the magnet theme to create platforms. Got ya. Be careful in this room. Susie's will go and try and hurt you. But if you stand to the right, they won't hurt you at all. They'll just kindly pass you. Alright. Here we go. This is Bomb Man's stage. Alright, we got one down, and now we got five more to go. Alright, next is Gutsman. Use Bombman's weapon on him, and he will go down like a piece of cake. But, you gotta, I gotta be honest, Gutsman has the hardest stage in the first Mega Man. So, yeah. Alright. 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 These things are called metals. So you can't... You also need to attack them when they're attacking. Mega Man tries to test your skill in platforming and what's your strategy in games, so you need to be really good and this was also made by Capcom, known for making Ghost and Goblin. Also one of the hardest games. This was Ghost and Goblins is actually the hardest NES game, to be fair. Alright, finally. I thought I'd make not make that. I have no idea what these helicopter things are. But, these things are really bad in this game. They've only in existed in this game because of how hard they are known to be. These things are like Hammer Brothers. They're kind of easy, yet hard at the same time. You can use a bomb, but I usually just shoot at them. You can see why these things are so much hated in this game, by the way. I did not mean to die there. <laughs> but luckily there is a save point here. I think this actu is actually one of the shortest levels in the first Mega Man, so... Yeah. The NES had very limited data, and that's why you don't see many stages here. They were, like, very limited. Be careful of this thing. This thing takes a third of your health. You get hit three times, you're done for. Every hallway also has enemies in it, so you need to be careful and keep shooting. Careful of the metals. Switch to Palm Man's weapon, and you should be fine. The Piper Bomb is actually just a, literally, a, just a bomb, so I suggest not to use it on anything else. Alright, and that's Guts Man. Alright. Also, you're getting points in this game, which I don't know why, 
But I think it's really cool because you can actually compete maybe in a race, kind of, in, like, the first Mega Man, but I don't know why they took it out. I think it was actually a really cool idea. Next, we are facing Cut Man in the next episode. So stay in tune for that, and I will see you guys next time really soon. Bye!